you can undo a data input so it's for dashboards and modules only and it only stores your last data input change so there's not like a, a chronological stack of the different changes it's just your last change so I've got a number here for January 18 put that number in and whoops I didn't mean to do that so you've now got this undo option at the top here or you can do control Z and you click that and it will basically revert back to the last number that was in there so you can also copy so if you paste in a load of numbers and then you can do control Z because it's a multi-cell undo it gives you a confirmation and it gives you the first three values just to confirm that that's definitely what you want to do so I can confirm that um, and then that will undo that change some things to be aware of you need to be in the active tab so if I set this to five and I've got and then I go to another dashboard and then I you'll notice undo is disabled there but if I do control Z if you saw that so I've got it there but it says last change is not the active tab so I can't undo it so you have to actually be in the active tab to undo that change so now I'm in the active tab in the toaster it tells me what's been undone and um, also If you make a change in a grid and then scroll away, so for example here, I set that to four, I scroll down and then I do the undo. Because I've scrolled off the grid, it's asked for confirmation because I can't see that value being undone. So it says, do I want to set that value back to four to two so I can confirm that and then that will confirm the undo in the toaster. Also, so if I set that to three and I change the grid definition, so say I hide a column, and then I click undo because I've changed the grid definition I can't it's kind of invalidated the ability to do an undo even though I can still see that cell because the definition has changed it's, it stopped me from doing that undo and that also applies to modules as well as dashboards so you've got the undo there though it's in the uh, it's in edit as well undo data entry